Welcome to the Workplace Minute, powered by H3HR Advisors and sponsored by Paychex, one of the leading providers of HR, payroll, retirement, and software solutions for businesses of all sizes. My name is Steve Bose. New surveys show 41% of LGBTQI plus workers have faced discrimination at work. The latest Work Monitor Pulse survey from Ronstad shines a light on the ongoing challenges faced by LGBTQI plus workers in the workplace. The report's insights are derived from the views of more than 2,000 LGBTQI plus employees from around the world. Despite significant progress to foster more inclusive workplaces over recent decades, 41% of LGBTQI plus workers say they have faced discrimination or prejudice at work, and a third, 33%, believe that their sexuality or gender identity has negatively affected their career, compensation, or promotion opportunities. The research indicates that this lack of inclusion and acceptance at work is having an impact on their overall career potential. Over a third, 36% reported that they have been less motivated or productive at work as they cannot be themselves at work, while the same proportion, 36%, choose to work remotely because the office doesn't feel like an inclusive space for them. Organizations are also losing out on key talent, as worries over discrimination in the workplace have compelled nearly a third to quit their jobs at 29% or pursue alternate career paths, 32%, showing the direct link between non-inclusive workplaces and talent retention. While the research shows that discrimination at work is still a reality for many, improvements have been made over the last five years. 40% of LGBTQI plus workers say that they face less discrimination now compared to 2019, and over half, 51%, say their employer has taken meaningful actions to create equitable workplaces. And over half, 57% of LGBTQI plus workers believe that businesses should take a stance on these issues internally and make positive changes. But any action needs to be done in a constant and permanent way. And workers are very aware of tokenism and businesses should be cautious of appearing inauthentic in their actions. After analyzing the data, experts from Ronstadt offered three tangible ways employers can create an environment of inclusivity for LGBTQI plus workers. These include, one, empowering employee-driven groups and ensuring that all initiatives are grounded in the real experience of employees. This leads to informed, targeted actions that support and enhance workplace inclusivity. Two, instill a culture of respect and empathy. Recognize and respect the diverse range of experiences of workers rather than perceiving them as others or defining them solely by their gender or sexual orientation. And three, authentic allyship throughout the year. While events like Pride Month offer an important opportunity for businesses to reflect on their LGBTQI plus inclusivity efforts, this awareness must extend beyond just the one month. The report concluded that business leaders have a responsibility to continue to make improvements and to take actions that lead to meaningful change and increase the feeling of belonging in the workplace. Workers consistently report that the ability to be themselves at work means they feel more productive, motivated, and can reach their full potential. And in a time of tight labor markets, organizations need to attract and retain their best talent more than ever. It's not just the right thing to do, it also makes good business sense. We will continue to cover these important topics and trends in the world of work here on the HR Happy Hour Media Network. That's it for the Workplace Minute, powered by H3HR Advisors.